doing something you don't even realize what you're doing. You're steering his tail by coming on the side of him. You're pushing his tail. So you don't actually need to look at you. You're pushing your fingers into him because he's responding to you staring at him in that direction. So. Okay, so now tell him to go to that first horse, the first horse right there. Point in that direction, make sure that the rope can slide through your hand when you tell him to go. So you're going to actually give him a kiss cue so that way he knows his feet are supposed to move. Put your energy on his, your support on his shoulder. Tell his nose to turn that way. Yep. And put your shoulder. Now tell him to go. Good. Allow him. Good. Invite him back to you. Invite him. Now you're going to bring him back to you. Yep. Yep. And stop and rub him. Now. And it's not because I don't think that you're capable with language. I don't think he's capable to listen yet 100% because it clicked. Did you see it click when he finally went, oh, is that what you want me to do? Right? And it was like it was an obvious click. But I don't know that that's, it was a solid click where from now on it's good. But see if you can stand facing this way and send him past you through those cones. And then if he does, and he doesn't try to run you over to stay on this side of the cone, you're just going to kind of turn and let him go with it. Okay? That's, I have a feeling he's still going to try to come on this side of the cone. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to stay on this side of the cone. Okay, so that's, he's got himself convinced of that one. Thank you. <laughs> So your goal is pretend like that's a gate, and you're going to send him through the gate. Now, because it gets you all turned around, so now I'm going to have you stand on him on this side, and you're going to send him to and bring him back like as, it, as you originally did. And let's just see if we can somehow convince him that we have a plan. Because right now, he's convinced that he knows this game, even though he has no idea, and he doesn't want to hear what your plan is. Stuff like this helps them go, well, then what do you want to do? Because, like I said, I don't know if you saw, but it, he, it clearly clicked when he said, okay, then what? And then he went, oh. So those are the moments that you really want to, like, revel in and be like, yes, finally. We had a conversation, and you yeah. let me lead the conversation. Because he was leading it before. Yeah. Yeah. So now change hands and send him through, like you're sending him through a gate. And then you want to get right where his front right foot is as soon as he goes through there. So you'll move after his feet. Yep, put your support on his shoulder, kiss to tell his feet to move. Good. See how that made a huge difference for him? So I wanted you to come over here after he started to move. So that way you're still, because our goal is to have you stand right here and he do the figure eight without you moving. That's our goal. Okay. So we want to try to mimic that the best we can, even though we're having to kind of hold his hands through it. Okay? So every chance you get, get back here. So that way you can kind of gradually stop leaving here. So go ahead and get there. Now you're going to see him. You want him to believe. See that blue building? Blue, purple, little building? Oh, that's my alarm. I know, it hit my phone, but I changed it last night. She's used to a different one. Okay, so your goal right now, 
is to 100% convince him. I want you to go over to that blue building over there. That's, that's the conversation you're going to have with him. Hey, I want you to go over there. And somehow you have to convince him to go that way. Good. So, absolutely none of your focus was on that building over there. So he had no way to pick that phone up from you. Okay? So, what's really, really cool, one of the things that you're going to be able to realize is that you can think something and envision him towards that building. And he'll really attack us. No. What? What are you So, you need to give him the visual. Like, if, can you imagine him walking towards that building? Can you, like, imagine that? So you can whole body go that way. If you actually create that image in your mind, he can pick that up. And he can go, oh, it's weird, but it works. Just like you can, if I had him out on a circle, I could tell him where I want to see his head touch the ground, and he'll put his head on the ground and exactly that spot. They can see what you want them to do, as long as your vision is very clear. So, you were shaking your head, you were busy about a fly, you were just like, I think I want him to go over there somewhere, you know. And there was no way for him to have a clue what you were asking him to do, because you were part of you. I don't even know if you were saying it that way. I think you were saying, oh, it's in my hair, right? So... We need to explain to him that our, we're in it with him. Right? In that moment, you were very much in your own world. Okay. The microphone's terrible. It's on the video, I'm sure. Good. Remember, we want to get back to that square, back to that X as fast as we can, so that way we can try to eliminate having to hold his hand as much. So you want to be standing right where I am. And you want to convince him that his dinner is inside that barn over there. So with your left hand now, you're going to point for him to go over to that blue building. You want him to believe he's being told to go there. Yep. Now if we want his feet to move, you have to give him some noise. Yep. See how that makes a difference? That's a conversation. Now, bring him back to you. Good. Point to that blue building again. Try to back him away from you. You don't move. You, we're going to try to keep you still. Back him away from you towards that horse under the willow tree. Back him that way. Just back him straight back from where he is. Yep. Back, 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 back. Don't quit him. You say back, it has to back up. Good, good. So now he actually needs to be closer to me for you to successfully do what we were trying to do. So you need to get him over here. Yep, 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 yep. And stop him. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Good, it's okay, it's okay. He's getting the general idea. It has something to do with that cone. So you gotta like take everything that they give you as an offering. He said, okay, I'm learning now. It's like when he was like, I think it has something to do with looking that way. He's like, I'm learning now, it has something to do with this. I don't know what, but something to do with this thing. Okay, so now we want to explain to him that that means I want you to go around it. So now, since he's already over there, we're gonna just back him up and see if we can't send him towards the barn from where he is right now. And out and around that cone. But his nose, I want his nose past that cone in order for him to successfully do it. He 
he may come forward, because I don't know if he's far enough away. How do we tell him to move his feet? What a difference that makes. Go ahead and change hands. Send him to that blue barn. So we don't need to turn around. We want him to come. Okay, okay. Back him up. He's got the general idea now, so now it's a matter of you. Okay? So I want you to tip him back. I don't want you to get turned around. I want you to send him to that willow tree so he goes around this cone. I want you to invite him back to you and then plan to keep him between you and the cone instead of letting him get on this side of you. And then you're going to point back to that blue building and say, I need you to go over there again. And then you're going to just allow him to go. Okay? You try to stay where you're standing. So you just would get a little bit louder. No, no, that's not what I meant. Always believe that their mistakes are honest. I just make sure his nose is past that cone for him to successfully go around it. supposed to go to the back of my barn. Don't you move anymore. You stay right where you're supposed to stand and tell him that way. So use your right, yep. Do we want him to move his feet? Bump him because he can go the wrong way. Yep. And then tell him again. He's always, he just made an honest mistake. Yep. There you go. Good. Yeah, we want him to go between you and the cone instead of getting you turned around. Okay? So he's supposed to do everything here. So don't let him get you turned around. So you stay here and have him do everything out there. So he goes there and then here instead of there and then here. Okay? Yep, yeah, just choose, choose either cone. Um, if you're going to tell him to do this one, so, okay, which one would be easier for him? I used to go, I used to go pop quiz. Why do you think so? Yes, but honestly, that one will be easier. Why do you think that? And all he has to do is just kind of bend that way. This one, he's more likely to travel here if your communication isn't clear. Now, if you want to believe in yourself, which I want you to do, you have to convince him it's not coming this way. It's going out that way. Okay? So I would say go that way because he is good at this direction. However, you need to make sure that you're explaining it to him properly for him to get the right answer. nose is definitely going to need to turn his feet to move. Otherwise, he's going to walk right on top of you. Think of him as like an airplane. Wherever the point of the airplane is pointed is where it will fly. So if his nose is pointing at you, he's going to fly right on top of you. There you go. Now, yes. Good job. Yep, bring him between you and the cone. Between you and the cone. Yep. Yep. Okay. Between you and the cone. Between you and the cone. Between, yep, between, ah, no. Okay. We'll try again. Because you're getting it. I'll give you the extra time. So back. Because you got to set him up to succeed. So he can't succeed if he's going to end up stepping right on that cone. Then he's going to make a mistake without even it being his fault. Yep, even one more step. 
saw another bomber go by, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, but make sure you explain it to him. Because he's going the wrong way. That's okay, it's okay. And you know what's really cool? I don't know if you could see it. Did you see how this foot steps? So when he was making the mistake, he was pretty sure he was making a mistake. And how he told you, I'm not really sure. It's, that foot came way out. He's like, like this? Right? So he, and if he was sure, his feet would have been doing this, right? But the way his foot came in front of him, like, he was kind of not sure, but he was like, I don't know, you're not telling me no, right? So that's where your communication had to be 100% clear to say, oh, 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 so a little wiggle in the rope would have interrupted his coming the wrong way, and you would have been able to redirect him. I know. Okay, go ahead and back back out. He knows it. I mean, he's definitely learned that today, so we don't want to let him get away with spending too much time thinking about it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, he's ready to do it, so just tap, make, nope, make sure, change your hands, make sure it's very clear. His nose has to be turned towards that tree for him to successfully do it. Remember, wherever his nose is pointed, where he's going to a question. That hesitation was a question. He goes this way? Because last time you let him make the mistakes and now he didn't know. That's where the purity of what you teach him. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Between you and the cone. Between you and the cone. Between. There you go. Back through. Back through. Yep. 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 There you go. Good. It's okay. Between you and the cone. Between you and the cone. Yep. Yep. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now let him stop. Let him stop. We want to tell him he did a great job, and then I'm going to have you do the whole thing all over again. Because I want to make sure that what we're going to, our goal, if I know this probably has been like a boring lesson. I always assume they're really boring. Um, okay, good. So our goal in the future is to keep you from doing this to your horse, okay? Because he weighs probably, I don't know, 10, 50, yeah. and you weigh, what, like 120? One, one eleven. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a chance, truly. So stop throwing yourself on your horse, because if he really wants to go through you, he's gonna go through you. So let's instead say, hey, I'd rather you not come over this way. And he'll go, all right, cool. So that's our goal is to get you to not keep jumping in front of a runaway train. Okay. So go ahead, you're turned around. Boy, you're right. You're right. So those are questions. So just anytime, especially like now, you're in his head. He's paying attention. Do you notice how much he's paying attention to you? Okay. He is asking a question with every step he takes. He's not saying I don't want to do this. He's saying, "All right, this is kind of interesting. You know, where, where, where do you want me to go?" Okay, that's how he's walking. He's not walking like, "Yeah, screw you. I don't want to do this." That's not what he's doing. Okay, he's very much engaged in what you're asking him to do. So now you just got to be ready to answer all his questions. Yep, yeah. 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 and we want to use the same thing. So he said, back up, back, 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 back. You know, he used his name a couple times last time. So you want to make sure it's always consistent. So if back is just enough, then always just say back. Now, convince him. Follow his nose. What does he have to do? You have to give him some way of knowing to move his feet. Once his nose, I would I would wait till his nose is turned though. Excuse me, talking to you. As soon as he turns his nose, you want to activate his feet so he knows to follow his nose. Don't pull because you're gonna pull right on top of you. This is where it's just about communicating instead of micromanaging. 
I always want to get people off their horses, like, just have a conversation instead of just dragging them around. Yep. Get pointed at light pole instead of the tree. You like it? Yep. down that line so because he's kind of like falling asleep on you. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Good. Good. Now the double kiss kind of put a little fire in his feet, didn't it? Right? So he said, oh, oh wait, before you were just kind of making a little noise. Okay. Yep. Between you and the cone, between you and the cone, send him to that light pole. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You'll get better at it. Yep, his nose needs to turn first, and then as soon as his nose turns, yep, tell him to do something with his feet. Good. Okay. Yep, between you and the cone, between you and the cone, you're just going to allow that to be a mistake. Yep, there you go. Good, change of hands. Yep. There you go. Between you and the cone, between you and the cone, between you and the cone, change his nose, change his nose, change his nose, change his nose. Almost, almost, okay. So, I'm just going to help him, only because, I don't want to see him because he got himself back in that convinced state of mind there. I don't want him to step on your feet. So. So fast. My bad, my bad, you were going to do it. My bad. Good job, good job. That was my fault. I was correcting you and you didn't do it wrong. Go ahead. So see how he's a little scared of the go cue? Because I think he's a little afraid of not knowing which one it is. So when you accidentally double kissed before, you kind of scared him again. Because we're trying to, I want him to know that one kiss means just walk. But watch how he jumps with my kiss now. Because he's like, oh, I must, I must not be doing it right. Oh. So we want to take all that anxiety away. like I told him to tell you, or told you to tell him. where I would quit. 
because I was looking for that. Only, the only time I'll ever, like, take your horse from you, so to speak, is to help him. Because I can help you by letting the horse loose, and you and I do it as if I'm the horse, right? I can always help you, but I don't want to leave him in a bad frame of mind. And you guys were doing great, and then you kind of got off track a little bit. It was going to be a lot longer to get back on track than if I could have just helped him. So that's the only reason why I jumped in and helped him. It wasn't because you weren't wasn't because you didn't get it, it's just as it started to get off rail, it was going to be a lot longer to get back on rail. Oh, he, he didn't do a lot of work, but he did a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm surprised he's not yawning. He offered one, but I'm surprised he's not, like, yawning like crazy right now. Huh? Do a little closet yawn used to just, like, every time like we did, where we did, like, move the feet and all that, I used to start everybody that way, and then sometimes I'm like, if it's going to be really boring, for, and I wasn't sure if, like, if the same horse was coming over, um, I didn't want to, like, have you sit there and go, see with both of them that as you start to do puzzles and stuff when they start to see you coming they're not gonna like usually if they see somebody coming with a saddle they're like I'm out of here when they start to see you coming they're going what are you gonna do today? Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah we're gonna try to get to where your immediate response to do this to me is gonna work because you can wiggle Just trying to hold it back. It's like, you got to be a little more aggressive. Like, yeah, 
Yeah, oh yeah, you protect yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. sideways over a pole and then back down another pole and then do a figure eight over here and you can have them do an entire obstacle course and you're standing on the mountain glass and that you can have that much clear communication with them that they do everything they want to do. Which is a lot. So it's going to pop it. Right. <laughs> See how, how little leverage you have now with that halter? Yeah. Yeah. The rope halter is, is a benefit for just leverage alone. Because they can just pull you wherever they want to go with that kind of halter.